Hello and welcome to the ninth edition of UTA Spotlight. I'm Nick Tarrant and we begin this newscast with the Mavericks homecoming basketball game that took place this past weekend. Reporter Emily Arsamont gives us more information on this traditional annual event. UT Arlington men's basketball team played their annual homecoming game this past weekend against Loyola Marymount University. It was a close game with UTA down at the half, but UTA was able to fuel a furious comeback to win the game. Well, we're thankful for the victory. It was a very ugly game. I thought uh, Loyola Marymount played harder than we did. Obviously, the rebound numbers show that. Uh, that's an area of concern for us that we have to get better. We've tried to address it in practice, uh, but the guys are going to have to buy in and they're going to have to do it. I can't get out there and rebound for them. Uh, and we're going to have to be tougher as a basketball team. We weren't very tough tonight. Um, the beautiful thing about it is uh, we weren't very tough. We didn't play great, and we still got to got a win tonight. Uh, just Loyola, just just killing us, just mashing us. We got in the we got came in the locker room. Coach just went at our head. Kind of got down. Just like man, we got we got to change it around. You know what I'm saying? We just got to keep fighting, turn turn the game around. That's what we did. Uh, just effort, you know, effort, energy. Just not, you know what I'm saying? Just not want to move, not be moving like faster. You know, just move a little faster. Offensive rebounds, we got we got killed on offensive rebound. We just won one there with a guard, you know what I mean? We just everybody just seemed like they were a little dead. But we was able to pick it up second half, come out with the win. Uh, I've, I've been trying to work, you know, off the ball, trying to find open spots and um we got a different group of guys. Kay's just into the starting lineup for the first time really in his career. Uh Nate, same way, and Johnny's a newcomer, so I mean we still got room to grow. I think we have a lot of potential. We're having a great crowd. You know, it's a it's an energy booster when you hit a big shot, or if you you know like we, we made a run, it helps having a crowd behind you, having that encouragement. I'm the type of guy, uh, even whenever it's a big moment, try to get the best shot. Uh, whether that's me taking it, Eric taking it, anybody on the team really can step in and take it. We just try to swing the ball and hit the upper man. Emily Arsma, UTA News. Along with many other organizations on campus, one student took it upon herself to create her own organization. Reporter Chanel Sassoon gives us an inside look. During the presidential election last year, J.C. Weber was looking for a Democratic student group on campus. When she couldn't find one, she decided to investigate, eventually bringing one back to UTA. So I was, you know, kind of apprehensive and scared, but I figured um, it's something that I'm interested in. She found out the group once existed on campus. She says reviving it wasn't as difficult as starting it from scratch. We just needed to find three board members and I think eight members to join. Uh, and we found that in about a month. The group has grown a lot in a year. This past weekend, they hosted U.S. Congressman Beta O'Rourke, who's running for Texas Senator. If I had told myself a year ago, um, last year when I started the group, that we'd be hosting an actual politician on campus, I wouldn't have believed myself. The University Democrats advisor, Marty Harvey, okay. says when starting a group on campus, okay. some students okay. don't follow through, so which can make progress yeah. difficult. That didn't happen with JC. No, she knew exactly what she wanted when she started this group. And it's not been me coming to her with suggestions. It's been her coming to me with suggestions. Harvey says Weber is a driven leader. Reaching out to politicians and coordinating successful events are some reasons why she thinks the group has grown to its nearly 150 members. She's fearless. She doesn't mind asking. Uh, I mean, the worst they can do is say no, but so far she hasn't gotten very many no's. She's great. Chanel Sassoon, UTA News. Drama seems to be on the rise at UTA as the Maverick Theatre Company plans to perform a play by Shakespeare. Reporter Corinne Washington has the details. Magical things are happening at UTA with actors getting ready to put on the main stage performance Midsummer by Shakespeare. So like we have these rehearsals and they're normally from like 6 to 9 and so you get like this afternoon of uh, learning more about what the production is about in the whole because it's really hard to understand Shakespeare sometimes um, so you get to act it out and um, just have fun doing it and doing the movements. It's a little bit tiring because as a fairy myself I'm like down on the ground a lot and so I'm using a lot of leg muscles that I'm not used to using um, but it's definitely worth it. Um, it's getting me in shape, which is always good, and um, it's a lot of fun to tell our story to some new audiences. We got November 15th through the 19th. Um, all the night performances are the 15th through the 18th, and it's at 8 o'clock, and then on the 19th, it's at 2.30. Take a seat and get ready to be entertained by our own Maverick Theatre Company. I'm Corinne Jury, UTA News.
For more on upcoming newscasts, visit utanews.com. Thank you for watching UTA Spotlight, and we hope to see you again next week.